Good morning from Molenbeen. We are currently camping, myself and my family, at uh, just south of Yapoon in central Queensland, Australia. And I just wanted to do a brief review of our um, experiences with the Iron Man Swift 1400 rooftop tent. We have been here a couple of days and uh, there has been a fair few showers and storms uh, over the past couple of days. We came here over Christmas and I just wanted to give you a couple of experiences that we had with the tent. So as you can see, we've mounted the rooftop tent on top of our Lumberjack Shiok trailer. The installation was quite straightforward. Um, we lifted it up, uh, the two of us. I would recommend maybe at least have three or preferably four people to lift it on top. And um, then it's quite straightforward. Um, you lift it on and you have four of those brackets that you just tighten on. And that's all. it's quite easy to install. The rails allow to move the brackets back and forwards and um, so it's quite easy to put it on. The interior of the tent is quite spacious. I am 185 centimeters long and I can easily stretch my legs and uh, it certainly sleeps two people easily. Inside you got those pockets where you can put all your stuff in and uh, you can open up all the side walls including the two sides on and the one on, at the front. What I like about the tent is also that it's got these rails where you can mount anything anywhere, wherever you like. You just um, slide um, the bolt in from one end and you mount it wherever you want. The tent came with two of the rails that easily mount on top of the tent and we've put a solar panel on top as you can see here for stability i got a third uh, bar that was about 100 150 australian dollars and it was really worth it um, for stability because if we go off-road we don't want to have any flex in the in the solar panel that's an Elvolta volta 440 watts and that's working pretty well what the tent didn't have was a power connection so what i did was just to um, drill a little hole into the aluminium on the side and put a cable through for a USB connection. I put that into a corrugated tube so it's protected and two cable ties on the top and the bottom that it's not going to move around um, and that's been working out really well and then I put a little uh, USB hub on there to, to connect it up so we have power in the rooftop tent for fans and for lights and to charge the mobile phones. The tent has held up really nicely in the storms. We had a lot of rain and um, there was no water leaking through. The few improvements that I would suggest would be to already have an installed cable that is sealed for the power connectivity. And I think the, there could be improvements to the ladder. We had to replace the ladder because um, it was not sturdy enough and it disintegrated and um, so we went we were on a trip and we had to replace the ladder so we got this new ladder which is a bit of a sturdier more expensive product so overall thumbs up for the swift 1400 i think it's a fair price um, for that type roof top tent so overall i will give the tent a four and a half out of five i think there's a few little things that could be improved such as uh, Having that connectivity of the electricity or a, a drilled hole already or a, uh, um, a sealed cable that goes up there. We enjoy that you can open up all the sides with all the doors and um, even if it's hot you get a fair and good breeze through it and you got that additional protection from the front.